What's going on guys, it's the Pancake Renegade here, and welcome back to After Party. In today's episode, we will probably be uh, finishing up the Asmodeus uh, part of the story, I guess. Um, I don't, I'm not really sure how long this conversation with Beth and uh, subsequently Asmodeus again is going to uh, take, but, you know, hopefully not super duper long. <clears throat> Hope you all are doing swell this Halloween. Uh, let me know what you're going uh, dressed up as. I'm going as a... Uh, what did I say again? Uh, what did I say again? Uh, what am I going as again? I've already forgotten. I'm going as uh, Ash Ketchum. That's right. How did I forget? Hi, uh, Beth. I don't know if you remember, but... Your fat ass landed on the outside. Remember that? Or are you as forgetful as you are heavy? Ooh, excuse me. Just ignore him, Beth. I'm sorry. Just, just ignore him, Beth. He's not in his right mind. In fact, his conscience is probably star-fucking his anxiety right now, you know? You know, it sounds more complicated than it is. You had one of Asmodeus' little forget-me-nots, right? Yeah, the come down is intense. Get a bucket and a shovel. Don't try to be a hero. He's cute, though. Wait, what? Seriously? Oh, give me a break, Betty. <laughs> what? I'm serious. I have half a mind to drink him from a bottle. What? Okay, but what? What? Give me three minutes, I'll turn him into an accordion. <laughs> Don't make me tell you to hit the showers. You guys want to get certified on Bicker? Is that it? <laughs> oh yeah, so here it is. So, uh, we can ask her why we why she left Al. We need her help, and what's with the dude? Uh, let's ask about the person the dancing. Uh... Uh, what's with the, okay. uh, the dancing dude? You can rent hoofers here if you make a reservation. Only $9.95 for the first minute, and an extra $15.95 for every additional minute. They're like gumballs. Sometimes you get unlucky. Hey, I just found a full barrel of scapism honey brandy. First come, first serve. And you gotta drink it here. I'm not following you around with toilet paper. Ooh, shit. Bath, do you want one? No, I'm good. I've got the guy here, so... And I think these two will entertain me a little regardless. So... Saucer eyes. What do you want me to do for you? Saucer we want eyes. You to get your shit together and get back with your husband so he'll be happy and sign a magical parchment. My little Beth. I'm the first woman VP at Bicker, okay? You know what that means? It means I get to spread the message to every little girl that they are useless except as corporate mechanisms for intercontinental cross promotional marketing. And that's an honor I'm not going to take lightly. I'm sorry, what? That is not the message I thought you'd be giving people. Yeah, I did not expect that. Uh, yeah, I thought she'd be like, yeah, more motivational type stuff. Not whatever that was. But he loves you. You can't... Your job can't hug you. Not if I or... Let your, husband get in the way of that. your job can't hug you. Your job can't hug you and tell you you're special when you're feeling down, Beth. It can't massage your thighs when you've been doing spin class all day. No, but it can buy all the lava monsters I need to do those tasks for me. Look, sweeties, it's nice of you to come over and everything, but if death is God's big joke, love is his one engineering flaw. Romance is the perfect engine to make toys for him. It is. We fall hard and we fall often, but that same engine can never handle the strain indefinitely. It always overheats and breaks the fucking toy. Beth, we need his damn seal of approval, okay? He's not gonna give it unless you... Boy servant, pick up the pace. I'm growing grass under my claws over here. Yes, your ladyship. Uh, Asmodeus must have told that stupid rhino head she sounds like her damn mother or something. Cause she is never going back. She talks a good game, but I don't know about that. Maybe somebody else has a better idea. Whatever. I still think I can just dance him out of the building. Oh, I'm glad you're feeling confident. Let's figure this out. All right, let's see what this is. Mm. I don't recognize any songs. Except Yummy Yummy, I Got Love in My Tummy. Oh, it's just a... Okay. Let's see what this drink is, if we can snag any. Hello. Hey, gals. Got a minute? Depends. How many followers do you have on Bicker? I have no clue. Uh, none. We're new. Uh, we've got none, because we're new. I hope that won't affect your opinion of us. It can only help. Because, you know, you can't subtract less than zero. Yeah, yes, you well, can. there are negative numbers. Yeah, exactly. No, I'm thinking more like absolute zero. Like, particles aren't moving zero. Oh. Okay, listen. Happy to meet you, meat puppets, but we ain't here for a work promotion. We're here to get the behemoth loaded so she gets her mind off Al. And you're kind of doing the exact opposite. 
What do you mean? Why would she need that? Because the Hellene won't shut up about him. Did I make a mistake? Do you think he's gonna be okay? Is he seeing anyone? Have you heard? She still loves him? Wait, she still loves him? Or is she just like, she's venting? All she still loves is the moment when they heard nuts busters by the mysterious lesions. And that's when we knew we would get married. I'm tired of talking about it. Let's get wasted and get her wasted and go home and piss to make more room for drinking. All right, kitties. It was bad talking to you. Bye. Well, the good to know that, I guess. Well, we know she likes him still, at least. It's nice to have confirmation on that. All right, let's snag a drink. Let's chug this one real quick. You know, I'm starting to Want think... something else? Because it's free, so... Yeah, I'm starting to think these uh, drinks don't really have as much uh, effect on everything as I've been uh, thinking they do. Anyway, this one's Hydrophobia. Uh, it's Liquid Courage. Fish Eggs, Swimmer Bile, and Gin and Simple I'll Syrup. The, uh, I'll have a little Hydrophobia. Coming right up. Three Hydrophobias about... And you'll be putting on your damn disco shoes. That means you'll be drunk. At eat or be eaten. Interesting. <clears throat> I'm very curious what you guys are all going to go as for Halloween. So, let me know down in the comments below. Right, let's change the music. Can we talk to you? No? What was that? Something thicker? See one giant glob of humans writhing in agony. Have you seen them all? Made a living writing song parodies for morning zoo crew radio shows. What's your reason I'm here? Huh. Holy fucker, Fuckstein, Milo. They have the damn song Bet's friend mentioned. Whoa, Mysterious no way. Butts Nuster. I mean, <laughs> Nuts Buster. Butts Nuster. Okay, uh, great. Uh, I'm not really interested in expanding my musical knowledge right now. Let's play Nuts Buster. Not this shit again. Ooh. It is called Nuts Buster. Fine. Kids, is it Smodius over at school? Uh. Why? Why do you ask? Obviously, it's because a manufactured piece of pop culture tripe designed to make me happy has just slightly missed the mark and made me melancholic. And I want to see what I'm missing now, so whatever, let's see. So, why'd you ask? Let's just walk over. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's fine by me. I want to see what her friends have to say. There's a 16 drink minimum for bar top dancing ladies. And you're under the legal limit. Oh, shut up, your face. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're heading outside. <clears throat> oh! Ooh, D&D so &D so night, you know, huh? I'm not oh, uh, I was gonna say, on top of your favorite candy types of candy... Like, or, like <laughs> sorry. On top of your, uh... Halloween costumes, what you're going as this year. Tell me your favorite types of candy. Mine are probably going to be so Kit Kats and, and ground, Butterfingers. Okay? I like those. Like not even on the ground, but outside. In sand. And not put it in the hamper. He'd also mispronounce words. Like, he'd say Arctic, like Arctic. And I've sort of been on a few coffee dates with this marketing demon, Eric, with a K. Which I can, like, deal with. But I'm only saying I'm just agreeing to meet up with Al. That's all. Alright. I mean, he really misses you. Beth, come on. He really misses you. You married him, right? There had to have been some connection. The connection was we got drunk and I didn't want to go home because it was raining frogs. It rains and frogs? And stuff doesn't just shower out. You gotta, you gotta take a bath. Oh no, baths? Look, I think this is probably for me more about closure, that's all. I want to know where he's at and where I'm at and, you know, just know that I'm doing better. Uh-huh. Definitively. Uh-huh. Makes sense to me. I mean, as long as we get the seal, I don't really care what happens to people. We will try and help out, but we're not going to be um, putting ourselves in a harm's way, right? I guess. I don't know. I'll try and help people, but if I have to talk more fact about more about the fact there aren't any aliens down here. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, then what's Men in Black about? Haha. <laughs> um, 
Damn, man, Beth runs kind of slow. That dude's still chilling there? Okay. I mean, sure. <laughs> Take your time. Lazarus is liquor. Oh. Game's starting to get choppy. Hopefully it fixes itself. <clears throat> Maybe when we go in here, we uh, get our conscience back. Or Milo's conscience back. Oh, that's you know, fun. I say I don't like being catcalled, but I have to admit it somewhat validates the diet. Oh, kiddo. Well, do you wanna? If I'm gonna see Asmodeus, I'm gonna need a drink first, and not from the spittoon. I'll see if there's any Irish guys under 35. Make a whiskey and blood cranberry. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll. Uh... It's time for the dance competition. Monsters uh, of okay. Mayhem, kindly leave any weapons at coat check, and please proceed to the dance floor. Shit, son! It's time for the dance-off! Asmodeus will be there for sure. Beth? Yeah, sure. I'll see you there. Well, after you. Alright, I guess we're heading to the, uh, elevator then? What? Where are you? Uh, okay. I wanted to go down. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> There's our conscience. Let's try and talk to it real quick. Say hi. So, living inside Milo can't be too easy. I've seen that guy's sexual hangups. Yes. People rightly feel shame after sex, for sex brings new shame into the world. Yeah, but only if you forget to wrap it up. So, first date questions. Um, well, what's your, like, sign, anyway? Um, year of the dog? Does that, is that what you would want? Honestly? <laughs> Don't tell anyone this. It only affects your time of the month. Hmm. Speaking of which, actually, it's so funny. I binge watch shows all the time, too. I didn't know anybody else used that term. Binge. <laughs> it's so naughty. Well, I don't know about that. It's just a poetically accurate phrase for consuming entertainment at an unsustainable rate. Yeah, you're not wrong. Hey. Yes? Let me in there. Are you on the list, sir? Because if you want, I'll have to ask you to leave the immediate area. I can't see that. Uh, I'm better than... I'm better than you. I'm a human being with organs to breathe and eat cheese with. What the hell do you have? A, a carapace or... Actually, what are you things made of? What can I say, man? Your morality thermometer just likes me better. He doesn't like you better. He's just young and stupid and is attracted to wounded souls. I do. I guess I do have a, a type. Hey, that's my conscience you're talking about. Little morons perfect, like me. Just shush. We'll find another way around. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> That'll work. Alright, so we can go up, or we can go here to the DJ. Let's go to the DJ. Hey. Just a little what? We're entering the goddamn competition, mother trucker. Ooh, somebody's confident. God will be jealous of me. I just hope your security camera's got extra film. Because God himself is gonna whack off to the footage from tonight by the time I'm through with that dance floor out there. Yeah! Okay, wait. <laughs> Just put your name down on the dotted line and don't leave. We'll text you when you're ready to go on. Okay, this is real now, so I know you're gonna have issues with this, but please, for me, can we get your conscience back first? What? No way! Milo, you need a particle of self-awareness to dance well at all. I know you think you're the greatest thing since sliced bread right now, but trust me, you want a little bit holding you back. Yeah, it's a good point. It's a good goddamn point, you crazy butterfly of a friend in my life. Always with the good points. Always. Let's let's do it. Now I think he went downstairs to the VIP section. Yeah, he's over oh, here. That guy. Okay, just so I. Why are you always yelling now? Because everyone should hear what I have to say. <sighs> okay. So let's. No, I I want to be optimistic, but it's hard in the current political climate. Which climate is that? Is McDonald's still a PM? I mean, political, more in the sense of, uh, of community. So how do we get our Solipsism conscience back? Rampant. <laughs> Life's like a box of chocolates or whatever. Listen, you got any blow? I don't believe I do. 
So we can't even get up there? Come on. How are we? We're gonna keep on hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I see something up there. We can go up. And there's a box. There's a little uh, bubble up top. You're in hell, starters. And two, I think Milo's got you wearing orthopedic trainers. What the crap are those shoes, man? Are these uh, out of fashion? Is fashion a good it was right thing here. to care about? Is yeah, he here. Care about? Are we gonna Ask jump over? Organism. Let's look down. Ooh, that little. The bouncer thinks he got the best of me. Of us. But he's got another thing coming. I can see straight down on that asshole's head from here. Yeah. Great. How does that help us? It doesn't. It, it doesn't. I can't believe I'm saying this, but maybe if you were drunker, you'd get an idea. Mm. I already have all the best ideas, like a pair of jeans you can exercise in. Well, actually, a good one. Yeah, it's not bad. So let's get a drink. What'll it be? Um, let's go with this uh, one. Uh, uh, blue. Uh, I mean, red perilla. All right, let's go chug, 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 chug. All right, we're done. I want another. Try not to drink and dance. No. It's a pain to clean up the floor. I don't care. I want more, please. Want to reload? Yes. Give me a look out behind you. All right, cool. Let's take one of these. <clears throat> Okay, now change up, uh, low this glass, and then now we've got Enjoy yourself. some alcohol in our system. Let's go over here, see if that changes what idea we have, if anything. Ooh, that little. The bouncer thinks he got the best of me. Of us. He's got another thing coming. I can see Are we gonna jump down, down that there? Head from here. That'd be Great. funny. How does that help us? It jump down. Oh wow, yeah, okay. We chucked a drink. Symbol of triumph. Milo, what ah! the fuck are you? Cheese and rice, are you kidding me? You really <laughs> shattered your pelvis just to get your dull faced insecurities back? That was really unsafe, Milo. Get out of here, Wormhorn. Come on. Give, the... give me a give me a give me a minute here. Sure. Get the hell out of my face, Wormhorn. I'm not fucking around with you. Fine, fine. I'm not gonna embarrass you, Milo. I'm not going to drag this little mistake of evolution into the sewers with me and turn him into a real man. Even though I could, I'm just gonna give you this one. You know why I'm giving you this one? Cause things. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny shit. Good idea, mate. I don't know why nobody thought to do that before. Permission to come aboard. Yay, we got a conscious back. We got a conscious back. Well, are you are you alright? Oh uh, well that was uh it was fun. Well, I don't know if I'm alright, but it was fun. Thinking I was awesome. You are awesome, Milo. You don't need to be uninhibited by all social laws to feel it. Yeah, man. Oh, we got a new message. Last chance to sign up for the dance competition. Re reply uh stop to unsubscribe. How'd you get this number? Command not recognized. Thank you for using DJ alerts. Guess. Guess it's time. Wish I could get a few minutes to just, like, lie down for a second. God, I was really passionate about love being a total croc, huh? Yeah, whatever. We can psychoanalyze your spirit quest later. You gotta dance your face off right now. I will be there, not dancing. Wanna be clear about that, but very much cheering you on. All right, let's let's do it. I think in the next playthrough. Sorry, I think in the next playthrough, all I want to do um, is I want to try and follow Sam's advice to the T. See if that gets me anywhere, it gets me any new achievements or what have you. And then if we do a third playthrough of this game, I'll probably do it off camera, just you know to 100% this game or whatever. Um, but if there's like a secret ending or anything at all, I'll just you know I'll upload it to YouTube. And, uh, yeah, I was thinking the third playthrough would be a silent one, you know, see if that gets me any the, achievement uh, or, you know, competition? what have you. You seem a little different. 
Not that I'm complaining, believe me. <laughs> Who's he up against? Asmodeus. Who else? Of course. Maybe when you are, kid. Oh, there he is. Whatever. You can take him, Milo. Y you got your mojo back. Think of Stella and her myriad grooves. Just please proceed to the dance floor when ready. And we're already at the dance floor. So let's dance. Hey, oh, we got, I said we got some gladiators in the ring, y'all. Are you guys ready for the 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 nightly the 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 the, the nightly school dance jump competition? I messed up the last word. <laughs> the, the, the 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 nightly school dance competition. In this corner, we got a little known angel of mercy we like to call Asmodeus. Why am I facing backwards? Let me face Asmodeus. Okay. <clears throat> Save me some chili cheese fries, okay? And you got it. In that corner, we got a sack of potato skins his mama liked to call Sang Bong. Woo! Just here to have fun. Hey, I'm, aren't we all just here to, to have fun? Light seeking light. The light of light beguile. You know what that means? Wait, I could be entirely wrong, but this guy sounds like... It, in that sentence specifically, he sounds like Neil deGrasse Tyson. It means you can't learn anything in books. You gotta live. Life. Uh, I don't know about that. I learn a lot in books. Really live it. Live it till you leave death nothing but a corpse. So I hope you do okay here tonight. I really do, cause I think you got a lot left. In is this gonna be like a DDR type thing? I wonder how this is gonna go out. I, I can't say anything. Beth. Worth it. My God, that's my ex-wife. Oh, right okay. there. Delete the whole pep talk thing. You gotta take a dive. What? I'll give you the seal. I'll, I'll sign your f stupid parchment. I'll fucking co-sign a lease on a tractor with you. Just, I can't fail in front of them. Now that you're staring at her. Like God Himself has given me another chance. Nah, man. I really don't oh, I see our predicament now. We could have just gone to the dance. Want to screw it up? Whoops. No, sharding. Wait. Dude, you are going to eat it hard in front of Satan's legion and your own lost love. Because I don't know the meaning of the word die. <laughs> it's, um, I actually I don't know if you really don't know the meaning or... Yeah, I, I don't know the meaning either. So, you know. Okay, gentlemen dancers, this is how it works. You, Milo, copy Asmodeus's moves as best you can. It's going to be DDR. All right, gentlemen, stop. Uh, why am I... I mean dancing, shit, I forgot which contest I was at for a second. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, I'm kind of trying to participate in a dance competition. Alright, so yeah, we're doing DDR. Alright, cool. Your turn, Milo. Hey. Ooh, Good nice. Job. Good job. Yeah, copy that if you can. Yeah, buddy. This move I call the very rich hours of the Duke of Berry. I hope you were paying attention. Of course I was. I got this. And this move I call Ixion Precipitated in the Underworld. Ooh, nice. Way for Asmodeus. Just do what I just did. I thought I hit it five times. Watch and study and maybe learn, a little kid. Come on, we got this. Yeah, buddy. This is a cool quick time event. It ain't hard if you're watching the leg work. Watch these people, like, get out of the way. Just like that, man. Hey, you Ooh, nice. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed if you can't keep up. Ooh, nice. Okay, slow down, kid. Slow down? What do you mean? Make it look pretty easy, right? Yeah, good one, guy. Why don't you go to seven? <laughs> Nothing 400 years of dance lessons can't teach. Yeah, you're uh, doing well. Thank you. Try not to break anything. 
except for your awesome record. Ooh. And the winner is... Milo. Yes! Fancy footwork, nerd! Don't miss a step while dancing! Booyah! Okay, I guess today is opposite day. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's fine. It's, I'm uh, not, it's, this isn't painful. Nice job. Oh, hey, it's uh, been a little while. I wanted to uh, dedicate that dance to you, but that, they didn't uh, give me a chance. Yeah, no, that would have, I'm just glad you didn't. It wouldn't have made me happy to hear that. Oh, <laughs> okay. He did try his best, Beth. Hey, he tried his best, Beth. He just didn't know what he was up against. A guy that's crapped his pants three non-consecutive times. Ew. Yes, Bob. I just wanted to come by and say hello. See how you're holding up. Christ, am I the only one thinks both Behemoth and Asmodeus can do better? I'm taking a little uh, me time, you know? Yeah, you said you were going to. Yeah, oh, you seen that tax attorney guy? That uh, one with the, uh, what was his name? Uh, Jacob? Don't you have some business with these people, Al? I do, I do. I'm I'm helping out uh, these guys with their uh, their quest. <laughs> you did, uh, you did good out there, kid. Thank you. Here's my official seal of approval. Hope you get everything you deserve. Yeah. Uh, what? Hold up. He said that last bit in kind of a menacing tone. So, all right, the drama of the demonic diva. Got Asmodeus's seal of approval. Oh, demonic divorcee. Gotcha. 6.52% of gamers unlock this? Really? Huh. Alright, that's been fun. I want to see where this chat goes, honestly. Ooh, can we go to the right? What's over here? Nothing? Okay. They're just going to be talking there? Let's snag a drink real quick. that'll make women overlook the fact that I'm both hideous and just generally uninformed. <laughs> eh, this'll have Marianne Cotton chasing you up a tree. Who's, who's Marianne me. Cotton? Wanna change it up or stick with what you know? Uh, you know, I'll do the whole spam and count to three. One, two, three. Do you have a, uh, a Bluebeard's last wife? Bluebeard isn't a pirate. You'll talk like a pirate with these, so I guess just focus on the positive. Yeah, talking like a pirate is totally positive. Here you are. Thank you. And one for my friend, please. Well, that was actually pretty fun. Um, I was kind of worried there for a second because the uh, controller, um, that like that was a really cool quick time event, and it was like DDR. I like that. Um, but I was kind of worried for a second because I'd hit a button and it wouldn't react for a I've second. Questions about people being forced to dance, like can't stop dancing unless they're played. And yes, you must keep dancing if instructed by your audit demon. Failure to comply will result in a week-long stay in the Grand Hotel of Searing Intestinal Pain. Ooh. And no, they do not have eggs continental, so plan. Plan ahead. Dang. Wait, where did we see that? Where did we send that demon we kind of uh, crushed <laughs> on the floor? I don't know. Um, but yeah, that was an interesting quick time event. For a second there, I was worried because, you know, my controller was taking a bit to respond to it. I was like, wait, what if this doesn't work? What if I hit the wrong button? Uh, uh, crap. But then it worked out. So, you know, that was all good. I think I'll head down to Sam's. And some guy just asked me if I want to go to Pound Town. I said, yes. Can you go to my house and beat up my idiot husband, <laughs> believe? <laughs> husband, please? She had a strong personality, right? I'm thinking of Demi Moore and Disclosure. Ben? Who's Ben? Beth. Beth the Behemoth. Uh, Asmodeus' ex. I don't know how those two ever got together, but maybe you just you just get what you can get down here. Well, she was a piece of work. She's I mean, kind of a piece of work. I don't know how demons can be so career focused. Upward mobility must be pretty limited. I guess I just don't know why we even roped her into it all. You know? Mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes you do things just to see how far you can like push it. Oh yeah, I just did that for fun. So this is your nonsensical way to talk to me about moving away again? I didn't say anything about moving. Yes, moving is needlessly complicating things to you, right? Well, now that we're on the subject, why are you- Because you can burn the swap meet and the drive-in and the all-night diner to the ground, Milo. I want new experiences. And I want to feel good about my life. I fucked up with the drunk girl at the bar, so I guess you're always right about everything. Oh, it's a demon. Everything always comes up Lola Wolf. 
Me and you will just be a footnote in your autobiography. Well, I'm How sorry you were wrong. The Wait, are you serious with this? Wolf. I don't know. What are, you, are you really bringing up that woman Eliza from the bachelor party? That was like two hours ago. Like, did Wormhorn Why can we not? brain parasite? Is she eating your cerebellum? What is going on? Why can't Nothing I go through here? On. Forget it. The, uh, the, the heat is probably just getting to me. Well, I hope that's it. Cripes. Okay, then we're taking a minute. This is new. Did I ever tell you my completely unfounded fear of elevators getting stuck with me in one? Uh, it'll be okay. It'll be all right, Milo. It's g it's gonna start up again in no time. Yeah, of course it's oh, Wormhorn. Yeah, that's not no, I'm not surprised by that. Elevators typically only kill 30 people per year, Milo. Yeah, you're of more likely to die from a cow. How many people are murdered inside an elevator? So that's you know, true. Who's to say your next trip up the lift won't be your last? <laughs> But let's take a look at what terribly excruciating memories are burning up the charts. Coming in at number three. Oh, I can't believe it's so low. Milo not taking the time to regain his conscience until after entering the dance competition. Well, that was a bit difficult. <laughs> a bewildering choice. Almost as if Milo wanted to see what dumb shit he would get into without it. Which is the excuse of roughly 40% of active serial killers. Whatever. Red I mean, it was fun. Steady diet of nihilistic emotional delivery mechanisms. Whatever, Wormhorn. It was fun. It was. I'm not gonna apologize for going on a bit of a bender that wasn't that bad in the first place. It, it wasn't that bad, was it? And speaking of dancing, coming in at number two, Milo won the competition! Yeah! How ridiculously stupid to have actually played along with this shit when you got Beth to come with you and then didn't do it as Modius wanted. You know, you, you could have been like buds with that guy, right? Oh, I wonder if that would have come in handy at some point. Well, it's good to win things. It's good to win things. Let's Wormhorn. be positive around Who's Wormhorn. What you say here exactly? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm a giant loser who will willingly mimic slow, repetitive prompts with my quickly evaporating free time. What is that supposed to? And the new number one recollection on this completely made up list is. Oh, oh shoot, how'd this one get in here? Oh, it looks like a picture of Lola not fulfilling her lifelong goal of becoming a family woman. Ah, uh, tisk tisk. What a shame, really. I see what you're doing. Yeah, okay, I can see what you're doing. And, you know, when you can tell the magician studied really hard, the trick kind of loses some of its flair, you know? What do you mean? I didn't do this. It must have been, uh, whatever, moving on. <laughs> and the new top-ranked what-the-hell-were-they-thinking thing they did is not get Asmodeus and Beth back together again. Really, guys, this was a layup. How many ways do they have to spell shit out for you? And when has getting two people into a relationship not been beneficial, except for the vast majority of times? I didn't realize I didn't get Enough into a relationship. <laughs> and open the doors. What? I'm trying my best. I I've been to the, the Akashic Records and back. I've been through your brain journals, your memory palaces. You're not exactly giving me snuff films and spy movies here. Well, sorry. Go. No. You know what? Why should I? Tell me. Why don't I just keep you here? Why don't I just I just burn time till there's nothing left? Because it's more fun the other way? Uh, because it's more fun to let us out and watch us try and fail than sitting in this dark room on your first night in existence. I guess that's <laughs> hard to argue. Ugh, whatever. Just remember. I know which one of you likes to be spanked. Wait. I know which one of you likes to get their hair pulled. Wait. I know which one of you hates themselves so much they hate their parents for the idea. And I know which one of you hates the other one almost as much. Think about it. Bye. I bet you she said 90% of that ju stuff just to mess with us. You guys going to say anything about that? Yeah, that bit's not getting any fresher, I can tell you that much. Oh yeah, definitely not. Alright, actually, are we, are we just allowed to go up the steps? Well, I don't hate you, by the yeah, way. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't hate you either. Yeah, I don't hate you either. Oh, okay. Oh, we calling Sam? New message. Hey Milo, just wondering if you want to get a drink this Friday? Hope you're well. Oh, it's Eliza. Oh shit, I just got a text <laughs> from Eliza. This is amazing. Is this what it feels like to get booty called? Man, I Just the way you said it. Booty called. Don't text her back. She's a total psycho. <laughs> I can't believe you gave her your number in the first place. Yeah, God. well, I mean, I don't know. I was trying to be spontaneous. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's not like we can die in hell, right? Eh. 
Eh, actually, at the same time, I want to be spontaneous, but at the same time, I said that twice, uh, we also don't want to cause a rift between Lola and Milo. So, uh, lose my number. Unsubscribe. <laughs> that doesn't work here. Alright, uh, I was going to talk to Sam in the taxi, but, I mean, I didn't realize that Wormhorn would be right there until we had the whole argument outside heading to the elevators. So yeah, I think I'll end it off here, and we'll uh, talk to Sam and head to... Where are we going? Talk to... Uh, Apollyon and the Sealed Knot in the next episode. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, please leave a like down below if you have enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace! Oh, and have a happy Halloween.